Welcome everybody back to Boost in Motion, guys. And today, did someone really spot the new Nissan Z? And it might be a Nismo, guys. Let's get that. Everybody back to Boost in Motion, guys. In the morning, good afternoon, and good night. Thank you. Welcome everybody back. Welcome everybody back to the channel. First thing, shout out to my whole Boost Emotion family. I know you guys have already hit that like button. Thank you guys so much for your support. And also, please watch those ads, guys. It really do. It really helps the channel. Thank you, and I really appreciate you. And if you're new to the Boost Emotion channel, I am at Boost, you know, Boost Emotion. And I am a Nissan Infinity enthusiast. I love my VR30s. I had two of them. Two VR30s, Q50, Q60s. I've been in this community for quite a long time. But anyways, let's just go just jump into it. Because if you like this content, hopefully you guys hit the subscribe button. But anyways, guys, so I'm part of a couple of, um, excuse me, guys. I'm part of a couple of groups on Facebook. And I do want to see if I can zoom in. I don't think I can zoom in too much. But someone spotted the Nissan Z. But this Nissan Z actually stands out a lot more than we really think. Other than the typical boomer, you know, with the shorts and, you know, the A6 or the New Balances, this Z is actually a lot different. So if you look at the rear end of this vehicle, you can see there is some bulging around the rear the rear uh, bumper. Now, we know that the stock Zs do not come like this. It's a lot smoother, and it looks like this car has more of a protruding rear balance. So that's something that automatically stands out to us. Also, on top of that, it does seem like the side seals or side skirts look a little bit different to, for, uh, from what I can see. Because, once again, they wrapped it in Cameo. So, it looked like they may have made an adjustment there. But I could be wrong. Um, definitely. I definitely could be definitely wrong about that. But those are some of the two uh, key indicators to say, yo, listen, this car is not the regular car. Excuse me, guys. I do apologize about that. Now. Moving forward, right? Let's click. Let's click this one a little bit back. Um, how do I click this off? So that same day, a couple of more people. Let me see. Matter of fact, because you know I'm also still part of the group. Uh, get yeah, bear with me, guys. I'm gonna switch the tab, and we're gonna look at a, a, another spotting. So share this tab instead. Boom. So now we're looking at this tab. Now this one is a little differently because people. I actually got to get a couple of shots of the car driving and see how the front of the car actually look. So here's a photo of the, the front end of the car. It looks like there's two slits. The one that we already know, and then there's one that sits a little bit above. I'm a little bit curious on that because why would they do that? Why would they make a design for it to be that way? And if you look a little closer, all the way closer, that extra lip look like it also still protrudes so i don't know if they made the technically the bumper even wider or taller or is that some kind of crash bar i doubt it it's probably part of the front bumper so i'm a little bit confused by that but i don't think i'm really like it because now when i look at that front bumper like look at the photo of this car right now look at it don't it look like it's smiling at you like an ugly like uh uh what's that what things that electrocute you like an eel doesn't look like it just like smiling like ee, like looking at, i don't i don't really like that look i really hope that they don't add this part because it, it it makes the front end look a little weird but it could be because of the cameo but i'm mm, not digging it so once again this is a better photo of the rear end once again it's still protruding that rear bumper right around the edge of the side of the car is protruding and it's raised up um also on top of that once again nothing really to the side I don't really see anything different from the side of the vehicle. Cool. Um, they look like they put on some different aftermarket set of wheels. I doubt these are the wheels that come from factory, but look like a different set of wheels. Uh, the rear wheels look a lot wider than the front ones. Definitely. Um, and once again, this is just their test mill. They're testing it out, seeing what the car is going to look like. And yeah, this is possibly what it is, guys. This may be. A Nissan Z Nismo. I mean, really sit there and think about it, guys. Like, sit there and really think about it, right? If they were going to make 
bear with me, guys. If they were going to make, right, another vehicle, let me show this. They're going to make another Z, which we always always talk about. They always come up with the Nismo, Nismo, something after, right? Someone actually put up a quick uh, render, and they're saying, what if it looked like this? I saw this last night. If the Nismo looks like this, I would be enthusiastic. Um, I don't think so. I don't think that that part of the front bumper will, will actually go with this. This is a quick render. I doubt that. I doubt that part completely. And I just don't see that being a thing. I doubt it. But I also you didn't see a wing on the car, too. So maybe it'll be wingless. Maybe it'll have a wing. I'm still a lot curious on it, on what Nissan's going to do. But knowing what Nissan has been developing and that even overseas, Nissan Nismo is actually coming out with their tunes for these specific vehicles, opens my eyes like, hey, maybe they're really considering possibly considering like really throwing the kitchen sink at this car like literally letting it sink in like hey listen we want to just develop a different car and this guy wearing a nismo hat doesn't make it any better like come on literally he has a nismo hat on like come on seriously let's do all this camouflage but then let's have one of your workers with a nismo hat on yes it's out the bag you messed up you messed up nissan but outside of that guys listen in my honest opinion, as I said in that last video, what do I think? I, I did talk about if they do come out with a, a, a Nismo, what is going to be the power bump, or or at least the power bump. But knowing that Nismo now overseas is going to offer a tune, which will add additional power, I don't see them making a Nismo with that similar amount of power, unless unless um they don't bring the tunes to um the states where like. Over there, they make it like say a tune which may add, may add, add, add additional fifty horsepower, but then they don't have it for the state. So then they might just make the Nismo over here with four hundred and fifty horsepower. But all in all, just kind of know what we know now. My guesstimate: this is just guesstimate. Don't beat me up, guys. If Nismo does offer some kind of tunes overseas, which they are, um, for excuse me for the Japan market, I'm assuming between thirty or fifty horsepower. And if they do that. And they said, hey, let's come out with a Nismo edition. I can see them making the Nismo probably 480 to 500 horsepower just because Nismo is making um, tunes. I can see the Nismo for the U.S. market being like 480 horsepower. You know, remember, we just need a slightly di uh, uh, additional cooling, you know, slightly bigger coolers. Um, the car has a lot of cooling already from speaking to Bonnie and Clyde. Like the car has additional cooling. So it's not like a Q50, Q60. Um, and if the turbos are exactly compatible, we still haven't been confirmed, but if the turbos are exactly compatible, maybe they might have made a slightly larger uh, OEM turbo set. We don't know. But all in all, that would be super dope if they do make a Nissan Nismo because the market for the Supra would tank. I'm sorry. The supermarket would tank because now you can buy a car with 500 horsepower, possibly 500 horsepower. Um, and that would be a probably additional charge because they the sports are already excuse me the performance are already a fifty thousand dollar car so I can see it as well being like sixty grand but then with markups <laughs> I don't want to talk about that but outside of guys let's not even go down that rabbit hole let's just hope let's not go down that rabbit hole because people still haven't got their cars in December they're still waiting on their cars. So outside that, guys, you have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. Thank you for banging with your boy Boos. If this video was informative, thank you for thank you for tapping in. Hopefully, I earned that like button. And hopefully, hit the subscribe button with that bell notification and hit all. So add, uh, add me at BoostMotion.g and Facebook. Also, I have an email at BoostMotion.gmail.com. Otherwise than that, guys, I appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Do appreciate you guys. Love you guys very much. You can also check out the two links I posted for some of my other videos. Also, on top of that, if you want to purchase some Boost Emotion merch, definitely check the link that I posted also. And finally, if you've been watching all my videos and you enjoy them, please hit the link for to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.